Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Anna Tiga. If this is your first time visiting this channel, you're very welcome. If you continue to visit this channel or you are a subscriber, thanks so much for coming again. In this video today, I'll be showing you how to make turtle neck jumper dress with bell sleeve. Very easy tutorial. So guys, let's just get started. This is a traditional turtle neck jumper and it's a top but in this video I'll be showing you how to make it as a dress and also as well if you see the neckline there it's got a cut so with this dress it's got no cut at all so the turtle neck itself and the dress are all together so the first stage now is to lay your fabric on the table or on the floor as flat as possible so I've folded my fabric into two and I'll be making use of A4 paper for the neck width so for my neck width as this fabric is not very stretchy it is a stretch fabric but not very stretchy I'm gonna fold the A4 paper into two as you can see and place it on the fabric by the place on fold So you need to place yours if you want your neck to be as wide as this and I'm going to make the marking. So I'm going to be measuring 6 inches for the length, you know the neck depth, the total neck depth is 6 inches. And before I do that I want to roll a line across to make a straight line. So you want to do the same. So I'm going to take 6 inches now for the neck depth of the total neck. That you can take more if you want. You can go for 8 inches or 10 depending how much you want. So the next thing I'm doing here is marking the 6 inches. Then I'm going to rule a line. And that line is my shoulder line. So that is your shoulder line. The total neck is above you know the shoulder line so that's my shoulder line you want to rule a line across yours as well the next stage is to add your body measurement and I'll be starting off from the shoulder line so shoulder to bust line measurement you want to add it not from the total neck guys from that shoulder line all the way down you want to take your bust line measurement so I'm marking 10 and a half inches there. Yours can be 10, 11 or 9 and a half, whatever your shoulder to bust line is. Then next you want to mark your waistline. I've just marked 17 there. So I'm going to explain. That's the 6 inches for the total neck. And from the shoulder line is shoulder to bust line measurement. And from that, that's the waistline measurement. Now I'm going to move on to the hip line as well. You want to add your hip line and also your dress length. That is the dress length measurement plus M allowance. So what I'm going to do next here, guys, is to start adding my horizontal measurements. You want to add your boss second friends. Your boss circumference divided by 4, add ease allowance and sewing allowance. Then move on to the waistline. Divide your waist circumference by 4, add the measurement and add your sewing allowance. If you want, you can extend your waist circumference. You can add more to make the dress a bit loose. If you don't want it very tight so you're gonna move on to your hip line and the same thing the hip circumference divided by 4 plus 1 inch so in allowance and you're gonna rule a line all the way to the hem line all the way to where your dress is so I'm gonna start connecting all the markings together now The markings aren't very visible because of the color and texture of this fabric. 
but I want you to try hard and see what I'm doing. So from the hip line, I'm going to roll a straight line all the way to the hemline. So that's the bust to the waist, to the hip and all the way to the hemline. I hope you can see this. So I'm back to the neckline now. So what I'm going to do is to add the shoulder measurement, your shoulder measurement divided by 2. So 16 inches divided by 2 is going to be 8 inches. So I'm going to make the marking 8 inches shoulder. The same as your body's pattern is the same way guys. So once that is done, I want to add the sleeve measurement from the shoulder. So whatever the length of the sleeve you want, you want to add it. I'm going to go for 23 inches here. So I've marked my 23 inches over there. So you want to make your marking as well. As you can see, that's my shoulder. And that's the sleeve length over there, right? So now I want to make the shoulder slant. So I'm going to go down by 2 inches. The slope is going to be 2 inches from the shoulder. So you want to go down by 2 inches. What would happen is I'm going to be connecting the sleeve from the waistline. So I'll be showing that you that later. So what you want to do is to find the midpoint between the shoulder. Can you see that? And the length of your sleeve. And I want to find the midpoint. And the midpoint is 11 and a half. Remember I have 23 inches as my sleeve from my shoulder. So the half of it is 11 and a half and I'm going to come all the way to my waistline and come up by 2 inches. So you need to come to your waistline and go up by 2 inches. Then you work your way all the way to the midpoint of that sleeve. Can you see that? And you want to mark 10 inches down from there. So you work your way up and make sure you have at least 10 inches. If you want, you can have 11. It's up to you how much opening you want there. So that's 10 inches. Once that is done, I'll just open up the sleeve to form the bell sleeve. So you want to do the same. From the waistline 2 inches up to the midpoint of the sleeve, then all the way there. So you want to rule a line and close the sleeve. So now you want to come back to your neckline and connect the shoulder to the total neck. That's your 6 inches total neck. What you want to do is to connect that shoulder in a curve as you can see. You want to curve it into the total neck. So after I finish the curving out to the shoulder, I want to give it a shape as well. I've just, you know, opened up the total neck there across. I've opened that up. It's up to you. This is my choice. So you can decide to leave it or not. Then once that was done, I started cutting. So you want to start cutting your dress. And you want to add like half an inch allowance to the shoulder sleeve area. As you can see there, I added half an inch to the shoulder. And that's the dress. Now I'm going to move on to the neckline. You want to use your front panel to cut your back panel. So you have two panels. As you can see, the turtleneck is a bit stretchy, but not very. 
So when cutting your fabric, be sure of the, you know, placement of your fabric before you cut. Very important. So you don't cut wrongly. So I'm going to lay both far, uh, front and back panel down so you can see. And as you can see the neckline, I'm still going to work on it. So I want one side of the neck to be a bit slanted. So what I'll do is to grab my scissors. I'm not doing any major measurements. I'm just cutting as I'm going, guys. So it's up to you. This is a choice. You can decide not to do this, but this is my choice. So I'm going all the way there, just taking a bit of fabric off to form a bit of slant. Can you see? I love it this way. It's up to you, like I said, to make your choice. You can have the neck higher than this as well. You can have 8 inches, 10 inches height for your total neck. So here it is. So after stitching all together... As you can see, very easy to stitch. You want to make sure that you place some notches where necessary at every corner so the dress can sit well. So here's the finished look. It looks amazing, guys. Very simple, classy, elegant. You can't fault this, guys. You can never fault this. So simple and easy to make. If you really like this video, or this has been of any help remember to subscribe press the notification bell and press the like button i'll see you in my next video till then look after yourself and bye for now